Welcome back to Fit for Life. Today we have to improve our strength, increase our strength. Uh, when I do a class a week, you know, we do two, we do strength training twice in my class. It should be done twice a week, um, maybe one or two days in between to rest the muscles. So today is our exercise band strength training class, which you have done many times with me. And I hope you're doing other things by yourself. Try to get out and walk now that the warmer weather is here. Really, really important to keep moving. Just keep moving. Go to the park, walk around your neighborhood. You never know who you're going to meet, right? So anyway, I just want to mention, strength training is still, I think, the most important basic fitness component. There are six of them. Strength training is, you need strength for everything, right? To take care of yourself to do the walking, to do the exercise. You want to stay strong as long as possible. It doesn't get better. Strength fades with aging. I think we all know that. Um, after 50, we could lose 1% to 5% yearly, depending on what we do during the day. So that's kind of scary. But that doesn't have to happen. Um, we want to have more muscle mass, more independence, by the way, muscle weighs more than fat. So if you're, if you're trying to lose a little weight and you're not noticing anything, it's, that could be part of the reason. You have to look into that. Um, strength training also increases your bone density. If you have early on osteopenia, that, that you know what that is. That's the beginning of um, osteoporosis. So it can make the bones more dense. So when you're strengthening your muscle, you're in turn strengthening your bones. So that's why this is important. It's not because it's cute and fun and a lot of other people are doing it. This is for your life. This is for you to stay active as long as possible. Delay your time of disability. You've heard me say that before. Exercise also improves what? Yes, that was my last show, wasn't it? We talked about that a lot. So we're going to stand up first to warm up, okay? Because what? going to be doing a lot of sitting. So we're going to get up without holding on. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to try to think of some different things for us. Lift the knees up. This is for balance too, isn't it? Lifting that knee up, which you're not used to doing. Good. Just lift it up. So you're strengthening while you're doing this, strengthening your muscles, strengthening your balance, getting your heart rate up a little bit. Bend the knees a little faster. We're doing it Faster this time. Good. Feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And remember, you can always do more than you think. So keep that in mind. And it's never too late to start. That's the important thing. Let's kick out. One, two, three. Your feet are open a little bit. They're not close like this. They're open, right? Five, six, seven, and eight. Again, one, two, three, and four. So if you can increase leg strength, you will have better balance and thus not have a fall. I mean, who wants to take a fall? That first fall could be terrible. We don't want that. None of them are very good. So we want to try to prevent that. So let's kick to the back and touch the shoulders. I like this one. Again, good for balance because you're on one foot for a couple of seconds. You can do it faster if you want or slower, 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 good, up, and five, and six. But we're warming up those muscles. And let's do my favorite, all the way up, and bend and bring those arms back. And this gets the torso ready for exercise, gets that blood flowing, wonderful. And when you bend your knees, you're strengthening your quads, up. So we want to warm up the muscles before we exercise. You don't stretch with cold muscles. That can be dangerous. Not good for the muscles when they're really, yeah, up and down. Let's go up again. Last one. Wonderful. All right, I'm going to just come back to the chair and just relax for a minute and kick out again. You can hold on for this one if you want. You don't have to. Back and forth. Good. Now I'd like to do an exercise that's good for balance, but it's, you know, part of the the warm-up thing. Uh, you might have to go, no, stay, stay at the side of your chair if you can. 
but to do this leg and not have to switch to the other side, you need to be a little bit away from the chair, okay? Front, side, and looks like we're dancing, and close. Front, side, do what you want with the arms. Front, looks simple, looks like nothing. Why are we doing this silly thing? Because it's good for balance. Three different body directions, right? Front, side, back, and close. Front, side, back, close again. One, two, and three. Close again. One, two, three. Wonderful. Hands on your hips. Let's relax. Drop your chin right down. Now, when you close your eyes, stay near the chair if you think you need it or get behind your chair if you're really concerned about your balance. But I'd like you to try to close your eyes and just drop your head down. Does your body start to move around? Are you, are you trying to maintain balance or are you still? Think, just think about that. Now bring your head back up. You can open your eyes and look at me. But I want you to just practice this. Uh, if you need, need to have someone around while you do it, that's good too, isn't it? All right, close your eyes and drop your head down. Are you still? Is, your, is the body still? Can you come forward in one piece a little bit? Don't let those heels lift off. And then just come up a little bit. I don't want you back here. That's why I'm very careful about this one. So with your eyes open, let's just come forward. If you have to hold on, that's okay. And then we could just get some stretching there in the in the calf muscle. All right. One more time now. Close your eyes. Drop the chin down. And see if you're a little bit steadier here. See how that works for you. Okay. Why don't we sit down and get to our strength training. Do you have your water with you today? Try to remember that, it's good for us. Take our band. I'm going slowly so you can have that drink. I better have some too. I should practice what I preach, right? Good, I'll have a lot more later. Okay. We are always holding on to the band for every exercise that we do. So you're always strengthening your upper body. But let's, yeah, let's do that then. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's hold on to the ends. Just came to me. Upper body, right? And what are we going to do? Just pull that band out and pull it out again. So the arms are high, you've got the arms out, your arms are straight, three, and four, and five, and six, and if it's too easy, you might want to wrap that band a little bit, yeah. So you would do this to make the band shorter, like that, oh, I can really feel that, mm. Or just wrap one hand and do it. Make it a little bit easier. All right. Let's just bring the hands together. You create a little shelf here. Put your chin right there. Close your eyes for a couple of seconds. Good. All right. And open your eyes again. Great. Now I am going to wrap once. On this side, once. <sighs> We're going to bring that band up and pull out to the sides. One. And two, and three, I can really feel that. This is a thicker band. They're all different weights. Make sure you do feel resistance. If, if the bands are too thin, they're probably too easy. It's probably too easy. So get the next, usually they come in uh, three, sets of three, and it, there's an easy and a medium and then a more moderate. So, so just try to find one that gives you a little bit of a challenge. You don't want it to be too easy. Okay, bring those hands together again. You don't have to put your chin on your hands unless you want to. We just I'm just relaxing my arms a little bit. Now, straight out. There we go. Let's breathe out this time. Just don't want you to hold your breath. So normal breathing or 
a little ex a little exhale on that movement. And three, you're really going to feel this. Uh, you'll feel it in your rotator cuff. Uh, rotator cuff also. Be careful of that if you have problems. Maybe you should be doing this, but you would know more than anyone else how that feels, right? And five, and six. This one I find a little bit more difficult than the other one. Yeah. All right, let's bring the hands together again. Maybe the next one will be the easiest. Okay. Uh, I don't want you to come forward like this, but you're not back here either. Just slightly forward. Now you're bending from the waist, right? Okay, not the, your upper body. Kind of in front of your knees. Or maybe, you can maybe put, put the band right on your knees if you want. And just pull out one. Good. Now I know you can feel this in your upper body. Your arms, your shoulders, your upper back, right? Good. And we'll say this is five. And six and seven not too bad now when I finish doing eight you can do another couple on your own all right so keep that in mind good Let's put the hands right up here without the band we're just going to circle to loosen up a little bit loosen up the shoulders your upper back good and three and you can do eight when you do it on your own but we only have a half hour show so I'm just giving you some examples. Good. All right, now clasp your hands together. Turn them over. Sit up nice and straight, shoulders down. Breathe out as you push out. See how straight you can get those arms. This is too much, but unless you have you know, severe arthritis in your shoulders, your hands, your wrists, your thumbs, this might be difficult. Just do the best you can, wonderful and then back. All right, let's do it again. Breathe out. Or just do your natural breathing, but just try not to hold your breath for anything, okay? And then back. Let's breathe out again. Or you can just stay there the whole time if you want to stay there for a couple of minutes. Now, did you notice I'm able to get my arms straighter because I'm working on it rather than here? But if you're not used to doing this, you will feel it. Okay, good. Now, take the band. I like this one, it's kind of fun. Underneath the thighs, kind of up against the back of the knee. Um, and let's not wrap it this time. Let's, let's just hold on to the ends. If you wanted, you could rest your arms right here. But if you want to get a workout, a really good workout, you might want to take your arms off the arms of the chair and just pull up. Hold on to the ends. I can really feel this. Up. Don't hold your breath. Do your natural breathing or breathe out on exertion. So that would be... And that applies to all of the things we do with strength training. Up again. And down. Wonderful. I'm going to move it down a little bit. We'll pull it up again. I know you can feel it. And this will strengthen your wrist also. And up. And hold it, hold it, hold it, and bring it down. <sighs> Great. So how does that feel? I hope it feels good. Let's come forward in the chair. Open your feet a little bit. Now just to relax, you're going to drop forward. Again, you can touch your, you know, hold your ankle, touch the leg, hold on to your knees, whatever. Feel a stretch in your lower back. But now for your arms, let's try this. One arm out. So we're stretching the upper body now. And see how far back you can get that arm. Good. Let's take a breath here. Breathing up. Now watch when you exhale, that arm just goes, goes back by itself. It's fascinating, isn't it? Okay, good. Try the other arm now. Just palm up, out to the side. See how far back, just to open up all of this now. All the way back, all the way back. Let's take a breath here, breathing up. 
And when you exhale, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Good. And then we'll come back. Now, we have to work on the lower body to strengthen the lower body. So grab some water or just sit there and watch me. Take a couple of breaths, yoga breaths. I'm going to put our band down. Okay. Just do that. Isn't that difficult to do that? Wow. Good. Let's point and flex a few times. Good. And you know we're going to start with what? When it comes to strengthening our legs. Our, our favorite, the sit-stand. I know you remember that one. So you're forward in your chair. Take our time because we've been busy, holding on, and then stand up. Is it getting easier? I hope you're trying to stand, you know, during the course of your day. Um, just make sure it's safe, okay? So we're going to sit back down again. Do not take a step forward because the chair won't be there. Let's try it again. All the way up. Good. And then we'll come over. Now, I think I've told you many times, try to do eight of those, by the way. Um, we've talked about the squat being extremely important as we age, for function as we age, to be able to pick something up, just to be able to move, move easily, not lose our balance. Uh, it's really important. These muscles, these quadricep muscles, have to stay strong so many things that we do. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And th this part is easy. It, okay, good. Nice and tall. Now you're just going to bend the knees a little bit, all right? And instead of trying to go down straight like that, I want you to push this whole area here. Push it back as if you're going to sit down and then come back up. If you are worried about falling on this one, do it right in front of your chair and make sure you can feel the chair on the back of your leg. So let's try it. Straight down, arms are out straight. You're just bending your knees, but this has to push back this whole area, this pelvic area. All right, arms are forward. And again, if you lost your balance, your chair would be right there for you. So be really careful with that one. Extremely important for leg strength, balance, and doing what you have to do. You have to bend over sometimes, pick up things, make beds. You want to keep these as strong as possible. So it's just great for function, period. Uh, let's try it one more time together. Arms out. And instead of going straight down, you're going to push back and then bend your knees. That might be easier. Reaching forward, reaching forward. If you need to hold on to something, grab it, you know, just grab a chair or, or just stand right in front of your chair and do this because it's really important. And eventually you'll be able to get down there a little bit further too. So that's, that's a good one. Um, we're talking a lot about our quadriceps today, but what about your hamstrings? Let's do a little strengthening. This strengthening, and now we're strengthening our lower body, all right? I want you to just point. Um, Watch your posture. Pull that chin in. Look at the difference now. Just by pulling that chin in. It's amazing. You've got to just lift that leg off if you can and just bounce it. One. You're going to feel it. Lower back, glutes, hamstrings, I hope. Five and six, seven. If that hurts, don't do it. Okay? Let's bend the knees just to relax. If you want to test your balance, you can let go. See how you do here. For some of you, that's, this is probably too easy. For others, maybe not. And it could save you if you stay strong. So we're just going to come back up again. This time, let's just put our toe on the floor again and bounce it. One, touch the floor with your toe. Two, three, it might be a little easier. Four, and five, and six, and seven and eight. So we're strengthening the lower body. I'm going to bend the knees again. I love to do this. It's so relaxing. Uh, the other leg, though, we have two legs, right? You're just going to lift up. One. This side is easier for me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do nine and ten. 
you want to do 15 or 20, that's fine too. And a little bend. Let's just drop the chin down so we can relax a little bit. Feels so good to do that. And then we'll bring the head back up. Good. All right, now we're just going to touch to the back again. Lift the foot off the floor and push yourself up not nice and straight. Let's see if we can just leave it there for as long as possible. So lifting up, just leave it, leave it, leave it. I know it's not as comfortable, but I want to try that. So let's come back. Let's shake it out. One, two, three, and four, five. So that part's easy, isn't it? Let's kick back. One, two, feel that again here. Four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Wonderful. Now, back to the chair. You're going to bend your knees. This is great for the lower leg. Come back up. Lift your heels up. Good. Now stay up and bend those knees and come down. Great strengthener. Pay attention to how your knees feel, okay? Back up and put your heels down. Now this time, watch, we're going to bend the knees. Lift your heels up. Stay there. Let go with one hand. Test yourself. Can anyone do both hands for a few seconds? Threw me back, didn't it? Push up. Your heels are still up. Put the heel down. Try it again. Bend and lift. Straighten. Heels down. Bend, lift those heels up, come back up, try it again, again, try to do eight or ten when you do it. If you want to do more, that's fine. It's a great lower leg strengthener too. And lift up, down. Now uh, we're just going to do a couple of stretches that are important and that feel good. All right. So again, holding onto the chair, walking back now, walking back, your arms are straight. They're not here. Walking back, as far back as you can. Try to flatten your back out. You can keep your head up. You should feel a stretch from your neck all the way down to your heels. This is a table back. We call it table back. And all you're going to do is put one foot in front, same arm and leg. Just lift that arm up, foot is in front, and push underneath, push your hips toward the chair, and let's do a little bit of a back bend. How many times do you do that in a class or doing anything? We never go back. It's, everything seems to be forward, doesn't it? Let's switch now. One foot in front. All right, you're going to lift that arm up. Just push those hips forward. Hello. Good. Think of tucking under. Wonderful. And bring the arm back. And we're going to do one more table back. So we're going to walk back. Good. You might be able to get your back a little flatter this time. I do this at the sink sometimes. If I feel like I need a stretch or I didn't stretch enough in bed, um, bend the knees. See if you can come down a little bit more. Bend again. And I'm gonna, I wish I had a mirror here like a ballet class so we could see what we're doing. Maybe you do at home. All right, let's sit again. We're going to relax just for the next few minutes. You've had a pretty good workout today. It's all for you, all for the good. It's really important. All right, let's sit up straight. Legs out. And keep your back away from the back of the chair if you can. Arms out to the side or wherever you want to put them. Maybe we'll do this on the front, both arms and legs. This is a good one, isn't it? I like this one. Tighten and tone here. Be good for this area, wouldn't it? Little stretch for your upper back. So this would be for your core. Your core, this whole area here. Your hips, your abdomen, your lower back, your obliques. And just cross, cross. Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Heels down. I'm going to put one foot forward, toe up, lift the leg up. We're going to just point and flex for a few 
few seconds here, a few, a few movements to get a stretch in that ankle. Good, I like this one. Feels like it's doing something. Good, let's try the other side. Point and flex. Point and flex. Good. Great. Grab some water if you need it. Try to drink before, and you can even take time to drink while you're exercising. You don't have to wait till the end, right? Good. All right. All right, I'm going to come forward one more time. Hands on your knees, and just drop forward. I'm going to grab the ankle, but try to touch the floor. Good. Let's come back up slowly, slowly, and back and back. Grab your wrist, pull that arm right up, tighten your abdomen a little bit. Grab your wrist and pull up again. Yay! Did a great job pulling those arms across to the other side. Let's touch the back of the neck. Get your arms back. See this elbow? We're going to cross over. Do what you can. You don't have to touch your knee. Do the best you can. Wonderful. Thank you for joining me today and trying everything. And even if it isn't perfect, you're still moving. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. We think we can't do anything. There's a ton of things we can do that we can still do. There's hope. We want to stay independent as long as possible. So again, thank you for joining me. And next time we get together, we're going to do some yoga. That's one of my favorites. I try to do a little bit every day. And even if we just do the breathing and meditate a little bit, it's fine. Bye for now. Thank you.